What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel for another episode of Game Night with Retro. So as you can see, we're playing Wheel of Fortune Junior Edition for the NES, brought to you by our good friends at Game Tech. Right? Yeah, as it says there, are based on the television program produced by Merv Griffin Enterprises. <laughs> A unit of Columbia Pictures Entertainment Incorporated. Copyright 1988. IJE Incorporated. 1988 Cal Film Productions Incorporated. Yeah, there's a lot of companies that go into producing these games. But anyways, that's the game. This is what we're uh, playing tonight. I thought I'd throw you a little curveball, you know, after that. Um, you know, game we just lost to the Oilers with the Bengals taking a seat, you know, taking them through the season coach mode. Um, you know, lost another, lost another uh, tough one there, 17 to 14 to the Oilers. So it's like, all right, let's let's take a step back and let's, you know, let's let's branch off, let's let's take a step, take a break from football and take a step back and ha take a breather and have a little bit of fun. With uh, something else, and then then we'll come back, you know, recharge our batteries a little bit per se, and uh, we'll come back and we'll you know take on those Cleveland Browns and give it everything we got, okay, and see if we can come out with a win there in week three. But until then, we're getting down with some Wheel of Fortune Junior Edition tonight, so let's get to it. Okay. 
on, okay. I'm gonna take a stab at it and solve it here. Is it whipped cream cake? All right, yes. I don't remember having that one. From my research, I, it, it's like I think there's like a thousand puzzles in the game, so it's like it's like you do have some, you know, you get so often, but then you keep getting ones. It's like I don't think we've had that one before. camera went off. Hey. Looks like Samantha's in control here. in person. going to the bonus round. Okay, it's bonus round time, so what are we going to play for? Trip to Washington. I also look at that uh, plane there, and I, I think uh, Rapture Flight 777 taking off soon. So yeah, let's in the spirit and the spirit of that, let's go for that. <laughs> Place, oh boy. 
Better stick to the classics. Ooh, pretty nice. Haha, <laughs> I love it when it when you get all those dings like that. It's almost like it reminds you of a pinball machine, right? They gave me one I never had before. Cobblestone Street. Now, see, that's like, I'm thinking place, but to me, that's really a thing. Cobblestones, that's like the type of street it is. See, they, they trip. Not only are they vague, but they trick you like that. I don't call that a place. If it's going to be a street, then it's got to be like an actual street, like 221 Baker Street, right? Like where Sherlock Holmes lives, that right? sort of thing. Uh, oh well. Still a fun game. Alright guys, I think that's going to do it for the video tonight. We still had some fun playing this game. Uh, but yeah, have you ever played this this edition of Wheel of Fortune for the NES Junior Edition? I I like it. It's like I said, it's my it's my favorite one. It's my favorite Wheel of Fortune game uh, for the NES. So, anyways, we'll. Uh, Leave me your thoughts in the comments below. Did you guys enjoy uh, spending a little bit of time with me uh, playing this game? And did you know, you know, some of the puzzles uh, before they were solved? Let me know in the comments below if you did, and your thoughts of, uh, of the game and the round. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like, yeah, I dominated all three rounds, but then sometimes you get to the bonus round, and it's like, uh, they give you one that's either hard or just like that cobblestone street. They labeled that as a place. And then, to me, that's not a place. That's a thing. That's a type of street. You need to say, you need to say like, you know, Park Avenue, Fifth Avenue, or 221B Baker Street. That's like a place. Of, you know, that's, that's an actual street name. But anyways, that's going to do it for the video. Leave me your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But if this is your first time to the channel, tap the subscribe button, then the bell next to it, ding, ding, so you're notified when I upload new videos. So until next time, guys, keep it retro.